Welcome to a four player game of Big Deck. Chris wins the die roll and starts with an opening hand of Mox Pearl, Acidic Slime, Sunblast Angel, Psychic Strike, Smash to Smithereens, Frexian Rebirth, and Hex. Kyle goes next with an opening hand of Deathrite Shaman, Behemoth Sledge, Dark Soul Ingot, Sarkin Vol, Primeval Titan, Consuming Vapors, and Tribute to Hunger. Marlin goes next with an opening hand of Crystallization, Nin the Pain Artist, Urban Evolution, Thought Flare, Prophetic Bolt, and Oran Viper, and Ray of Revelation. Ronnie goes last with an opening hand of Tallran Sky Summoner, Goblin Welder, Propaganda, Doomblade, Wall of Roots, Breon, Stout Arm, and Fiend Hunter. Chris starts by drawing Rewind, casting Mox Pearl, then laying down Hex as a land. He passes. Kyle draws Control Magic and sets down Stark and Vol as a land. He passes. Marlin draws Black Sun Zenith and plays Crystallization as a land. He passes. Ronnie draws Diabolic Tutor and plays Beyond Stout Arm as a land. He passes. Chris draws Counter Squall and plays Rewind as a land. He passes. Kyle untaps, draws Baneslayer Angel and plays Behemoth Sledge as a land. Kyle then casts Deathrite Shaman and passes the turn. Marlin draws Makeshift Mannequin, plays it as a land, and passes. Ronnie draws Luxidon Hierarch and plays it as a land. He passes. Chris draws Eternal Witness and plays Sunblast Angel as a land. He passes. Kyle untaps and draws Sphinx Sovereign. Kyle plays Tribute to Hunger as a land and casts Dark Still Ingot. He passes. Marlin draws Rancor and plays Nin the Pain Artist as a land and passes. Ronnie untaps, draws Treasury Thrall, and plays Talrand as a land. He then taps out to cast Propaganda. He passes, but Marlin shoots Propaganda with Ray of Revelation before passing. Chris draws Duplicant and regrettably plays Acidic Slime as a land to get a green mana. He passes the turn. Kyle untaps and draws Honden of Seeing Wind, which he plays as land for some reason. Kyle then taps Death Threat Shaman to remove a non-creature, non-instant, non-sorcery spell from the graveyard to add a man of any color, exiling propaganda. Kyle then casts Primeval Titan, but luckily, Chris has the Psychic Strike, which counters the prime time and mills two cards. He passes. Marlin untaps, draws Cyclonic Rift, and plays Black Sun Zenith as a land. He passes. Ronnie untaps and draws Visara the Dreadful. He plays Treasury Thrall as a land and then casts Wall of Roots. He passes. Chris untaps and draws Spite Malice. Chris plays Frexian Rebirth as a land and passes. Kyle untaps and draws Mindspring. Kyle plays Control Magic as a land and casts Baneslayer Angel. He passes and at the end of his turn, Marlin rips Kyle's Baneslinger, returning it to Kyle's hand. Marlin untaps and draws Charnel Horde Worm, which he also plays as a land. He passes the turn. Ronnie untaps and draws Maelstrom Wanderer. Ronnie plays Goblin Welder as a land and passes the turn. Chris draws Mizium Mortars and plays it as a land. He passes the turn, and at the end of Chris's turn, Kyle exiles Marlin's Cyclonic Rift, losing his opponent's two lives. Kyle untaps and draws Soul Terry Gorillas. Kyle plays Consuming Vapors as a land and taps Deathrite to add a mana and then casts Sphinx Sovereign. Kyle passes the turn, but before going to his instep, Chris smashes the Sovereign to smithereens, dealing Kyle 3 damage. Marlin draws Karthus and plays it as a land. Marlin then casts Oran Viper and passes the turn. Ronnie draws Morden Dragon and plays Visara as a land. Ronnie then taps 4 to cast Diabolic Tutor, which Chris countersqualls, losing Ronnie 2 lives. He passes. Chris untaps and draws Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite. Chris plays Elish Norn, dealing with Deathrite, and putting a stop around the Oran Viper. Chris passes the turn. Kyle untaps and draws Steward of Valoran, which he plays as a land. Kyle then Mind Springs for 5, drawing Imperial Archangel, Invoke the Fire Mind, Prime Speaker Zagana, Cancel, and Una Queen of the Fae. He passes. Marlin untaps and draws Anamar, Soul of Elements, which he casts and forgets that Elish Norn automatically kills it. Marlin then casts Rancor on the Oran Viper and attacks Ronnie. Marlin draws Overbeing, Bull Myth. 
Marlin plays Prophetic Bolt as a land and then passes the turn. Ronnie untaps and draws Oxida Scrap Melter. Ronnie plays the Scrap Melter as a land and then adds a Neg counter on his Wall of Roots to cast Maelstrom Wander, cascading into Firemind's Foresight, searching up Brainstorm, Ultimate Price, and Putrefy. Ronnie then cascades into Hindering Light and does not cast it. Ronnie then passes the turn without attacking. Chris untaps and draws Birds of Paradise, which he plays as land. Chris then attacks Kyle with Elish Norn and then casts Eternal Witness, returning Psychic Strike to his hand. Kyle untaps and draws Mirari's Wake, which he then casts. Chris targets the Wake with Psychic Strike, but Kyle is ready with the cancel. Kyle then plays Una as a land. He passes. Marlin untaps and draws Revoke Existence. Marlin then casts Urban Evolution, drawing Shadow Mage Infiltrator, Chainer's Edict, and Praetor's Council. Marlin then attacks Kyle for one with the Viper, dealing him one damage and drawing Hoarding Dragon, which he plays as land. Marlin then casts Shadow Mage Infiltrator and then passes the turn. Ronnie untaps and draws Recoil. Due to Kyle still having the Wake and a near full grip of cards, Ronnie decides to take Kyle out of the game, lest he win another big deck. Ronnie starts by Doomblading Chris's Elish Norn and then casts Mordant Dragon. Ronnie then attacks Kyle for exactly 12 damage, killing Kyle. Ronnie and Chris then form a partial alliance to kill Marlin before going after each other. Ronnie then passes the turn. Chris untaps and draws Beacon of Tomorrows, which he plays as a land. Chris then casts Duplicant, killing Ronnie's Mordant Dragon. Chris passes the turn to Marlin. Marlin untaps and draws Barter and Blood. Marlin then attacks Ronnie with his two Ophidians, dealing Ronnie four damage and drawing Academy Rector and Sword of Vengeance. Marlin then casts the Rector and then casts Barter and Blood. Ronnie and Chris both sack both of their only two creatures, and Marlin sacks Viper and Academy Rector. Marlin exiles Rector and searches a pile, finding Omniscience and putting it into the battlefield. Chris and Ronnie's alliance hardens at this point. Using Omniscience, Marlin casts Overbang of Myth and suits it up with Rancor. He then casts Praetor's Council, returning his entire graveyard to his hand. Marlin then casts Urban Evolution, Drawling Attrition, Mortipod, and Fracturing Gust. Marlin revokes Mox Pearl's existence and casts Enemar, and then casts Oran Viper, Mortipod, Attrition, and Thought Flare, drawing Crystal Ball, Bloodgift Demon, Hole Breach, and Fairy Trickery. He then discards two cards and casts Bloodgift Demon and Crystal Ball. He passes. Ronnie draws and plays War Priest of Thune. Forgetting that he can cast Fairy Trickery for free with Omniscience to counter the War Priest, Marlin puts the Omniscience into his graveyard. Ronnie then ultimate prices Marlin's Bloodgift Demon and Fiend Hunter's Marlin's Overbeing of Myth. Ronnie passes. Chris draws Death Grasp and simply passes the turn. Marlin untaps and draws Stoneforge Mystic which he also plays. Marlin finds Umazawa's Jitse, Sword of Feast and Famine, and Batterskull. Marlin chooses Batterskull and puts it into his hand. Marlin puts Rancor on Oran Viper and attacks Ronnie with the Viper and Shadow Mage, dealing Ronnie another 4 damage and drawing Faith's Fetters and Thirst for Knowledge. Marlin passes the turn. Untaps and draws Razia. Ronnie then brainstorms, drawing Crime Punishment, Diabolic Revelation, and Nova Blast Worm. Ronnie puts two cards back and then casts Crime, stealing Marlin's Omniscience out of his graveyard. Ronnie then casts Nova Blast Worm using Omniscience, and in response, Marlin flashes back Ray of Revelation, blowing up Ronnie's Omniscience. In response, Ronnie putrefies Marlin's Oran Viper and recoils Marlin's Attrition. Marlin bounces Attrition and then discards it. Ronnie passes the turn. Chris untaps and draws Totem Guide Heart of Beast, which he also casts, finding Confiscate. Chris passes the turn. At the end of Chris's turn, Marlin taps Crystal Ball and scries two. Marlin untaps and draws Forbid. Marlin taps Stoneforge Mystic to put Batterskull onto the battlefield. Marlin then attacks Ronnie for four with Enemar and Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Ronnie can't block and takes four damage. Marlin draws Gruel Rage Beast from the Infiltrator. Marlin casts Faith's Fetters on the Nova Blast Worm, pacifying it and gaining him four lives. He passes. Ronnie untaps and draws Insurrection. 
Ronnie casts Insurrection, but Marlin forbids it and discards two cards to buy it back. Ronnie passes the turn. Chris untaps and draws Mana Reflection. Chris casts Confiscate, targeting Batter Skull, thinking that he would get the equipment. Thin realizes that not only does the Batter Skull stay equipped to Marlin's Germ Token, but it still gains Marlin the life when he deals damage with it. Chris then passes the turn. Marlin untaps and draws Merciless Eviction. Marlin then attacks Ronnie with Animar and Infiltrator, killing Ronnie and drawing Sword of Green Blue. Marlin's overbeing of Myth stays exiled. Marlin then plays Thirst for Knowledge as a land. Marlin then Stone Forges in Sword of Body and Mind and passes the turn. Chris untaps, draws Birthing Pod, and casts Men Reflection, which Marlin forbids. Chris passes the turn. Marlin untaps and draws K Grip. Marlin targets Chris with Chainer's Edict, and Chris sacks his Heart of Beast. Marlin then equips the sword to Animar and attacks Chris with Animar, Infiltrator, and the Germ Token, dealing Chris 10 damage and drawing Terracidon. Marlin gets a wolf and passes the turn. Chris untaps and draws the Speller's Capsule. Chris then flashes back deep analysis from his graveyard, paying 3 life and targeting himself, drawing Beast Within and Manic Vandal. Chris casts Manic Vandal, blowing up Marlin's Sword of Vengeance. Chris passes. Marlin untaps and draws Watch Wolf. Marlin then attacks and Chris Beast Withins the Sword of Body Massage, giving Marlin a beast. Chris blocks the germ with Manic Vandal and takes 4 damage, putting him at 1 life. Marlin draws Wild Ricochet and plays it as a land. With a Mortipod and a creature equipped to it, Marlin passes the turn. Chris untaps and draws Luxidin Smiter. Chris plays Disposer's Capsule as a land and then Death Grasps Marlin for 8. Marlin thinks for a minute, then realizes he can just kill Chris by sacking the Mortipod Germ to shoot Chris for 1. He does that, winning him the game on the 15th turn. Yes, we're not going to go another turn. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Well, hold on. What the fuck is that? Don't figure it out. Don't, no one's saying anything. Let us say waiting for this the whole I know. damn time. I know. Marlon, come on. Marlin, you come can on. do it. Look, look at your cards. Look at your, look at your cards, cards and look at your board. What? 